All right, uh, we just got out here on trips. So we're gonna do our first review. Um, fucking pleasant day out. We're at the Cedar Camp location here. Um, we're just stopping in. Um, cool. So I got the uh, Anderson Valley's Summer Solstice Ale. Um, it's a 5.0% alcohol volume. Um, they're based out of Boonesville, California. Um, it looks like they were established in 1987. Yeah, Anderson Valley's great. They make awesome, awesome beer. Okay. Everything from the Boot Amber to their IPA to uh, their Goss. I mean, everything they make is fucking fantastic. Nice. Um, so one of the so Fal Allen, um, I used to know him back in Seattle years and years and years ago. He was the head brewer at the Pike way back when, and then he ended up down at Anderson Valley as their head brewer. Years ago, early, mm -hmm. early nine, mid nineties, maybe. Um, just fantastic, like super solid stuff. So I, I don't know. I mean, this is their summer. I've never had their summer beer. Um, I've had a couple other seasonals, but I'm, I mean, I'm anxious to try this and see what it's all about. I so. like it. You know, the picture's really woodsy. Yeah. It's got the bear with the antlers. Yeah. Kind of neat. Yeah. They always have that Northern California mountains kind of Sierra, yeah. Sierra type stuff going on. So it's supposed to have a real good uh, caramel flavor, the spicy hint see what to it's it. About. So let's uh, see what they're talking about here. Nice color. Oh yeah, kind of like that golden honey look yeah. color to it. Pretty. Uh, there you go. Nice head to it. it. Smells fucking delicious. I don't even. Mm, smell. Yeah, it does smell good. Oh yeah. So. It even smells good out of the... It does smell caramely, boy. It smells it like does. caramel and brown malt. and a lot uh, of sweet smell to it. It's fucking great. Ooh, yeah. That's tasty. It's got the cinnamon, like, spice. There is a, a little way. bit of spice, hint yeah. of spice to it. It's kind of like a... Now, I don't... Yeah, I mean... Don't get confused like a spiced type ale, like a winter ale or well, something. Yeah. But it it does have a little bit of spicy essence to it. It reminds yeah. me of a real, a real rich brown ale. It kind of reminds me of that rogue hazelnut a little bit, just without so much hazelnut type flavor. You can definitely taste the caramel. It's good. It's way different than I thought a summer beer would be, though. Right. It's usually heavy. some usually summer beers are either <clears throat> kind of a real light wheat type beer or maybe an IPA ish kind of you know or mm -hmm. one of these session IPA type things kind yeah. of hoppy clean crisp this is more this has got way more going on yeah this is there's a lot of i mean it's got a lot of body a lot of richness um it's a it's a heavy ale it's it's fantastic food beer it really reminds me of a, like a good brown ale it's mm -hmm. fucking good. It's exactly like a brown ale. I like it. It's got that zing Me spice too. to I, it. Me too. I love the flavor. I, being a summer solstice, it just... I guess it's just not what I expected. That's all. Mm -hmm. Not not bad or anything. I mean, it's good. Oh, it's, yeah. it's a great fucking beer. I like it. Kind of it's interesting kind of, for a summer beer, that's all. Yeah. The summer solstice is a... Definite winner to us. Uh, agreed. Be great with food. Yeah. Be good with some smoked stuff. Be good with some ribs, maybe. Little. You know what this would be good with, dude? Because it kind of has that honey, that caramely, that sort of almost a maple type of flavor. Right. You know. <clears throat> It'd be good with like a, like a maple smoked dry rub profile. You know, the like mm -hmm. the maple rub that you put on stuff. Yeah. Uh, this or, would this would be good with that. Like yeah. really good with that. Like pork. I made some, uh, I made some real thick cut pork chops with some of that maple rub, on them. And it's got garlic and onion and granulated bullshit and like some maple flavor and a little bit of smoke flavor and, mm -hmm. um, just kind of a sweeter sort of you know profile for smoking yeah threw them on the grill and it was fucking amazing and this shit here like if you would have soaked these uh, uh, those chops a little bit in this 
and then put that rub on there and then finished it with a bottle of this, mm -hmm. that'd be, that's where it's at. Right I was there. also thinking some of a fucking, fucking, like smoked or grilled pork chops with some maple rub. I was thinking like a barbecue fucking bacon cheeseburger. <laughs> fucking. <laughs> you can't go wrong. Yeah. It definitely fucking would complement bacon. Like with some smoked Tillamook cheese or something? Oh, yeah. That'd be fuck. Yeah. I think I'm just hungry. Well, yeah, well. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, beer in the woods. Definitely. Review number one from another epic trip coming up. Yep. Yep. Just the beginning. <laughs>